Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. And it will only take you a second. It'll go a long way with me. Thank you. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is ACOS. ACOS stands for Advertising Cost of Sales. And it's really confusing to a lot of people, and it shouldn't be really. So what I've done is, and I use this myself, I created a spreadsheet in Excel, Microsoft Excel. So if you've got that application, great. I will leave this in Facebook, in our Facebook group. And the links are in the description for our Facebook group, so you can just go straight to that. And then download it from the Files tab underneath the header. And use it however you see fit. So I'm going, to, I'm going to show you now what we do with this. So I'm just trying to make it really easy. What I do with this for my books. And I created this not so long ago. And I use it all the time. How do we know that I've got this ACOS thing set up right? Got an image here of my latest sales from Amazon. 18 clicks. 145 spend. 4 orders. Sales 1996 at an ACOS of 726. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. You know, it's, uh, it's it's only one of my small books. So the retail price of that book, I know, is $4.99. And the royalty for that book, I know, is $1.29. So that gives me a break-even ACOS of 23.85%, which means I can't go over that amount. If I go over that amount, I'm spending money I'm not getting back off the book. Now that's not always the case, you know, I'm, I'm not too unhappy if it stays at that. Because I've also put into the calculation a minus 2%. And that gives me that little bit of buffer there. 23.85% ACOS is my break-even figure. If I can get it down to, to half that, brilliant. The ad spend was 145. So we got 145 in here. Okay, now you'll see here the ACOS is 29.06. Now that's because I've only got one down here. Now then, if I was to go to here, and look at this again, 1996, because I've sold four of them. So I'll put 1996 in here. And the ACOS now is 726. So let's have a look at that again. 726. Right, so everything is working perfectly. The formula's all, all there. So if I just remove that there to back to 499, and while well, I show you something else, forget about the ACOS again. Leave everything else as it is. 499, the 129, the 145, and we come down to this box at the bottom. Now then, if I was to put four in there. That takes me to the 1996 for the four box at 499. This is all automatic. All these with the, the bold text and the line underneath. Don't touch the little formulas in there. And if you make a mess of them, you've accidentally deleted them or used them. Um, just download another copy. The ad spend was 145, which was copied from there automatically. So my profit on those books is 371. Now, I've put a dollar symbol on here, but um, in fact, you know what? I'm just going to take that dollar symbol off because it doesn't really matter what what it is. So I'll go to Format Cells, this is Number, and we'll just put it as a number. Because it could be whatever currency it is, it doesn't, really, it doesn't make any difference. Now, the reason I've got two of these boxes, which are the, basically the same, I have the lowest royalty book. So what happens is if I see I've sold like 20 books, 30 books, whatever, and there's a there's a huge um, royalty figure there, and then, hopefully, and then there's another figure which says the ACOS is, say, 25%. I want to know um, that that 25% is better than my worst, my lowest ACOS book. So um, if I've got, if all my books are above 25%, then, you know, and my ACOS is 25% on that whole group of books, I'm not making any money. So they need to come down. They need. They all need to come down. If You know, I don't want to break even. I can break even. It doesn't hurt me that much because I know that that book's getting into the, 
into the system. It's being spread about. People are buying it. It's not costing me anything. It's like advertising. As long as I don't go over. And then I'm paying to advertise, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. So, and this one here is the average. So I know my books say, and I could use either one for this. I just It's just the way I have it set up. I know my average book is, say, 1099 and the royalty says um, 333 and if I knew that that book had sold and I'd spent two on it and the ACOS then is 1820 that's great you know that's great it's way under so you know I, I know I can spend that kind of figure well I go out to 333 only enter information into the yellow boxes underline bold entries are formulas not to touch and see video on YouTube for instructions. There's a little hyperlink there. And if you know someone who doesn't use Facebook, you could download this file and send it to them and vice versa. So that's basically it. That's, um, that's ACOS. And like I say, if I was to take one of these formulas, to work out my formula, I would have that 129 in royalty divided by the retail price of the book, which is those two figures there, times by 100%, and that would give me my figure. But I have added minus 2% on top of that to give myself a little buffer. And that's, that's really it. It's as simple as that. Um, yeah.